Hello guys, this is Herman again in another Just My Review and finally guys, I got it right here. This is the Light from Corso Motion. Finally, I got it today and now guys, you will see what is the difference between a reflector and a real working light. Let's go and do that right now. Okay guys, first of all, we're gonna open this guy right here and we are going to make sure that everything is nice and in a good condition. And let's go and see all this. All right, we got it. And what we got here. Nice, look at this guys. This is our instructions. And this is how to install this, basically. You give it the instructions from course of motion. And what you guys gotta do. Right here, if you guys wanna do it, everything is right here in the package. All right guys, now what we got in here is basically what we need. This is the hardware. And basically right here, I'm gonna show you guys right here, we got all the connections, basically the wiring, and everything just plug and play to connect this. We got all the connectors as you guys can see right here. Let me just pull this out. And as you guys can see, we got the left side and the right side. Everything right here ready just to plug and play. Uh, we got the light connectors. We got everything we need just to connect it on. And we got the right side and the left side. Now this right here is the instructions guys. We gotta follow this thing sometimes get hot. We gotta put it on a metal surface, never on a plastic because sometimes get hot. And right over here, guys, we got the nice thing, guys. Let me open these guys right here. As you guys can see already pre-open it. And just to make sure what it is inside. And guys, we got these uh, reflectors. And guys, look at this. This is an, I don't know if you guys can see it real, real good. Let me see. It's kind of hard to see, but as you guys see me moving in right there, this is the Honda original. This is a OEM part. This is not a, a fake part. As you guys can see right there, it says Honda uh, Stanley, and this is the part number, and this is a OEM part, guys. This is not a fake part. They use OEM. If you check with them, they put a OEM parts. Um, they made your own, and look at this, guys. Uh, we got the light right here. Well, they do all the job for, for us and it's very, very nice and affordable to be honest for all the kind of stuff these guys are doing and I like it. I want to install these guys with this. I'm going to have brake lights, parking lights, I'm uh, going to have uh, 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 the directionals and everything is going to work really, really nice, guys. Let's go and install this and see how these lights work guys also just remember these two white connectors are used to connect the reflector with the harness but i i decide to replace it with these two waterproof connectors guys let me tell you something there's nothing wrong with these two guys but i just to make it a little bit more waterproof and let me tell you something guys these uh connectors from uh corso motion are owing connectors i Compare it with the uh, ones in the uh, vehicle and they are identical and the quality of the uh, wire and the connectors are amazing well as you guys can see also i got all this guy covered with the uh, tesla tape i put all this i love tesla tape in all my uh, electrical connections in my vehicle because it protects the wire from anything uh, from water from uh, wear from anything and I love it for that. Also, I covered this to just to give it a little bit more waterproof protection. It's not a, it's not gonna be a waterproof 100%, but it's gonna give it a lot of more protection with this. And I covered all the wire except for the uh, resistance. The resistance you never cover it with anything because you're risking to get uh, burned out. You never cover that. That thing actually you cannot even put it next to any plastic piece on your. Uh, 
uh, track, the bumper or anything like that, you gotta use a metal surface. Remember that you gotta attach that to a metal surface. It's gonna be a plenty uh, locations. And also, uh, let me show you guys. I I did the replacement right here. This this is where it's supposed to. This white piece is supposed to go right here. Well, I use this one as you guys can see. This one right here, the black one. I put it right in the bottom. And let me show you guys how to uh, everything looks like from uh from top to the bottom and i'm gonna show you guys how the uh, reflector looks like too okay and now we got right here the uh reflector guys hold on let me go and focus this okay it's out of focus now it's better and you guys can see you know i did the same thing guys i did in the previous video with the other lights guys i used this special uh uh, tubes remember they got a uh, um this special solder right there in the middle and you guys can put all together and it's gonna make a fantastic connection and it's gonna be plug and play and really 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 nice guys uh, like, like i told you guys this is a factory oven light this is not a fake light as you guys can see in the reflection right there you guys see clearly honda and i love that these guys work with everything original connectors and everything okay guys let's go and do this installation now and finally yep tesla tape 2. guys now i'm going to show you how to remove this reflector just in the future we can keep this one as a spare and you know as you guys can see i already removed it uh this one when you want to put this one back in you gotta put it right in the hole and slide it to the right then push this one all the way in now let me show you you guys gotta go in the back right and using a, a screwdriver or something just let me show you right here you guys gonna push this thing and at, a, at the same time you're pushing this one with a, screw, a screwdriver use something like a plastic piece or something to pull this one out and it's gonna pop out really easy as you guys can see this is the uh, retainer right here you just look at this that's the uh, other part right there and it's gonna stay right here and you guys push that piece in and at the same time you guys grab it right here with a uh, something like a plastic uh, puller or something let me show you I use this one uh, this this guys right here this is to remove the trim uh, for for your doors and stuff like that and uh, just do that and you guys gonna pull this piece out okay all right guys now we're gonna uh, put this other one and we're going to fit this line over here all the way to the end then we push it in now you guys can see it's secure and we're going and we're gonna fit it under here as you guys see i already fit this over here and you guys can see where is the wire now let me show you guys you guys see right there the pin let me okay you guys see the pin right there all the way there you guys can see that red dot right there okay that's the thing you guys gotta push out and pull it from the outside now we got this uh, wire over here and we're gonna fit it all the way to the top to the light and let's go and disconnect the light okay now guys we got two screws right here one on top and one at the bottom we're gonna need a number eight socket we're gonna remove these two screws all right guys now we already removed the uh, two screws now the thing we are going to do we don't need tools for this uh make sure you clean your light because if you don't clean it when you grab it you're gonna scratch the finish and you don't want that now make sure your hand is clean and the light again is clean and then we're gonna hold our hand against the light this uh, left hand we're gonna hold it right here and with the other hand we're gonna grab this area the black area right here and we're gonna make little by little moving uh, back and forth this until we got this out let me do it i'm gonna put the phone somehow that you guys can see it all right okay let's go and do this guys remember you grab it from here and from the, this area the black area and right here you start 
Okay, we got the first one and you got the second one. This one was easy. Now, uh, I'm gonna unplug this from here. We got three connectors and hold on, let me just grab the phone. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay guys, I'm sorry for the mess right here, but let me show you guys. You guys got this uh, hose that this thing is uh, is holding on to the uh, tail light right there and right there. Now, right here in the bottom, got two more connectors that you gotta watch out. Because I see a video, another guy removing this, and he didn't uh, notice these two right there. When you push the uh, the tail light in, basically it's gonna hold it in place, and then you finish it right in the two uh, two holes right over there. Okay, now we are going to do is pull the uh, this other line. Uh, let me can, let me just put this one right here and hold it. it. Uh, the good thing is got that uh, strap right over there, and now we are going to use this guy right here and we're gonna fit the line and we're gonna put this one making sure that this area is attached to any metal part right there I can see okay let we just okay that's what I love these guys look at this this is so beautiful Okay, as you guys can see, I already attached the uh, resistor against the uh, metal of the uh, truck. And just to let you know, guys, this resistor got a, a piece in the back 3M uh, ready just to remove the uh, plastic and put it against the metal and it's gonna hold it right there. Uh, that's one of the best positions you guys can use in this specific truck. Now, just to let you know, guys, right here, remember, uh, how do we put this? Well, first we gotta put the bottom first right here. <clears throat> and make sure you guys hear when it goes in. Make sure this is everything going. We gotta make sure we put this 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 first, otherwise it's not gonna lock in place. Okay. Boom. There we go. Now it went through. You guys can see it's lined up. And then we gotta just line up the holes right over there. Make sure all the holes are in place. Okay, let me try to see if I can do it with the camera. Okay, I got the bottom one. And I got this one too. And just, as you guys see right there, it's just enough space. And just push it. Make sure everything is right here fine and you guys hear the click and everything is good right now now we're gonna put the screws right here one in there and the other one and let's do the same thing on the other side and just turn it on and see how it looks let's go and do that guys let's see how did this thing work all right guys and the final step is right here just we gotta put a zip tight and put all everything together and as you guys can see everything looks very very nice as you guys see, this this is the cable coming from that area. Let me see if you guys can, I can, okay, just hardly, you guys can see the, the uh, right there, right there, you guys can see the red uh, square right there is where uh, next to that one is the wire coming in and everything it looks very, very nice, very uh, original very Owen and guys as you guys can see everything match beautifully and that's what I love this uh, Tesla tape uh, Corsair Motion did an amazing amazing job with this wire okay guys let's go and light up this uh, light and see how it looks like okay guys there you have it this is the light this is the reflectors from Corsair Motion and we're gonna see how it works the brakes now the uh, left turn, right turn, emergency lights, and 
uh, just uh, the regular lights, daylights, and there you guys have it. Look at this. This is amazing. It's beautiful. And you guys can have this just going to the link down below. And you guys can have it for the Richland Pilot, for the Honda Line, and not only for the Honda Line. You guys can have this for a different other brands too, like Toyota, Ford, any other cars. You guys just got to go to the website and check it out your vehicle, and you guys can have it. If you guys got uh, your reflectors with no functionality, well, Corso Motion can do it functional for you guys. Just go and check it out. Look at the difference. It's a huge, big difference. And you guys can have a different uh, options. Not only the ones I have, mines are plug and play. You guys can have these in just the uh, lights itself. You guys can have the wires or different other uh, ways to customize your lights. You guys can call them, let them know that you guys got a different lights. They do the job for you guys and just go and check it out guys thank you uh, for watch this video subscribe if you are not subscribed and thumbs up and see you guys in another just my review in another diy project god bless you all and see you guys later